Hello guys and welcome to another track guide video and today we got ourselves set Fuji International in group 4 and for this track guide video I've decided to go with the 650S but I think you can pretty much go with any car that is really good on the straight line something like a Corvette I think I saw even a hur Huracan on the top 10 list so I mean just decide for you uh, what's best for you and go with that so I'll try to explain what I did here and we had a couple of mistakes in this lab but I think overall it was it was pretty decent and I would like to advise you guys so you can join our discord here we are currently at I think 102 members if I'm correct so make sure that you join our discord and of course without further ado let's get going okay now let's get going with this track guide and I did a couple of mistakes in this lab so yeah there is some minor adjustments you can make to make this lap even faster but I think it was pretty decent overall so the first breaking point is just when you pass the 150 or also you can use the beginning of the stage as your breaking point and I like to get I mean you can get the early entry here and grab the inside of the curb but I got maybe I may be too late on the on the entry here so that's why I lost like seven I think it was around six uh, sixty thousandths of a second at this point but I think yeah it, it was fair enough to make make this guide yeah another reference here is this little marker on the right and not use more than 50 percent on the brakes and i slowly start the trail break into this corner and as soon as you get off of the curb on the left i think you can put the power down i mean Overdoing the braking is kind of important here, so make sure that you don't overdo the braking. This reference is what I'm using for releasing my throttle inputs and then really coasting for a while until I usually get to about 50% of this corner, like somewhere in the middle, or you can also use that pole just to start applying the throttle. And when you see there is a kind of a, when you see you can really do this corner, I think you can put the power down. Uh, this one is right before the 50 or somewhere around 75 meters I would say and this one is a little bit tricky because you don't want to use a lot of trail braking here so at the point where you're touching the apex just let the car coast and do the tra I mean do, do the corner on its own this way you will probably get more traction and the car will be much more stable through the corner uh, of course. Uh, yeah, this one is the next breaking point. I hear I'm using the Dunlop sign, but breaking slightly later. I think it's safe to say you can break at 100 meter sign. And just as soon as, uh, maybe 20 meters before this little marker there, I like to start steering into the corner. Minimize, again, minimize your trail breaking. And second gear, full throttle out. So it's really important that you carry the speed and be early, like super early on the power. And of course, do not cross this uh, line with four tires. Otherwise, you will get a penalty. So make sure that two tires must stay on the on the left hand curb. Uh, this one, okay, I'm using this little marker and it's kind of a end of um, end of the fence there. And you can just tap the brakes there. Nothing more than 20% is enough. Grab the inside of the curb. And as soon as you get off the curb, put the power down and go a little bit wide. Okay, this is not a tricky section because you want to get kind of a wide entry into this one, but I'm using a marker on the left. I'm using, of course, the end of the curb just, you know, just to make myself prepared for a little bit of trail braking, but not much. And as soon as you touch the curb on the left, you can put the power down. So really wide end and so you can get a little bit better a little bit better exit on uh, on that curb. So this one is another reference that I'm using here. It's the box. It's actually the Marshall's box on the left. And again, no more than 20, I would say maybe 20 to about 30% on the brakes. And as soon as you touch the curb on the right, I think you can put the power down. And here I lost a little bit of time. This was another, my, another mistake. And I just the mistake was that I didn't really carry that enough speed and really didn't put the power down early enough. But it was it was kind of a mid 43 and I was pretty set up, satisfied with this lap. Guys, if you like this video, please smash the like button and yeah, if you really want to, you can even subscribe to my channel. So until the next time, guys, have a good one and bye.